does it feel to be the only keeper to ever save a Matt Letizia penalty? Well, you know, at the time, whilst I was playing, you, you don't realise it, but since I've finished, I'm actually still living off that moment, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and it's nice. I have, a bit, I have a bit of banter with Tiss through social media and all that. But, yeah, I mean, I mean that's a record that's never going to get changed. And the amount of penalties he took, I think, 49, and he only missed the one. Uh, mm. I actually, I got an, I got an email not too long ago, actually, that that, that penalty was saved at... Uh, at the Dell, which is now when I was in a state, and I thought it was one of my mates winding me up. I got an email saying, um, Mark, is it okay if we name that end where you saved the penalty? There's a street there. Do you mind if we call it Crossley Street? So I thought it was just a wind up, like, you know, but as it, as it happens, somebody's actually sent me the sign. It's actually called Crossley Place. So yeah, I mean, I'm very proud that I'm, I'm the only one to stop a pen from Matt Letizia because he was probably up there as one of the best, if not the best. You're a great shot stopper as well, a great penalty take. Obviously, the night um, Forest against Spurs with that performance, like, what was it about penalties that just seemed to you were great at them? Do you know what? I always had the attitude where you're in a no lose situation. I think as a keeper with a strike, it's all the pressures on the striker. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't massive on technology because back then in the early 90s, we didn't have it. So I always got told off a coach that I had a, a guy called Alan Hill. He said, you know, when you're saving a penalty, uh, save a, uh, facing a penalty, big man, he said, you just go with your instincts. But the one thing I always used to try and do was to try and delay the penalty taker as long as possible because they just want to put the ball down and take it. Okay. So it's yeah, all mind so games. Yeah, and I used to fake to go one way and I'd always go the other, uh, try and, you know, get my arm up in the air so the striker, whoever's taking the penalty, catches catches you a little bit of a movement. Uh, as long as I didn't come off my line, I used to fake to go one way and then go the other. Uh, I saved quite a few penalties from Teddy Sheringham, actually, and, and in that shootout, the final one to take us through in the FA Cup, I just walked up to Teddy and I said, listen, Teddy, do you know I've played with you for a year at Forest? You know, we spent time here. And don't forget, I do actually know where you put the penalties. <laughs> uh, did I he do the same say thing? He did, yeah. He put, yeah, he put it to the side where I, I'd always seen him put them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a little, um, bit of mind, a little bit of mind games, I suppose, is involved, yeah, definitely. 